Hey there, let's look at how we can add custom headers to HTTP responses in a Laravel application. These are the two basic API endpoints that we are going to use. I'm using Postman to call the API and inspect the content of the request, but you can use any other apps with similar functionality. Let's go ahead and call the user endpoint and see what HTTP headers are set by default. We can see that we have plenty of headers. Let's create a new header, a custom one, but also change an existing one like cache control to show you how it works. One good solution in our case is to create a middleware. Let's open up the terminal and let's create it with an artisan command. php artisan make colon middleware and Let's call it Neutron Headers. All right, now let's open up the file. Neutron Headers PHP. And now we can edit this handle method. Let's use the response and add uh, let's first um, modify the cache control header. Cache control. And set its values to no cache, no store. And then let's add our own custom HTTP header. Um, let's call it neutron star and let's give it a value of whoosh just sounds funny and then just return the response and this is our middleware now there are different ways we may use this middleware we can apply it globally on every HTTP request or we can use it only on specific routes. We'll go over both, but let's first apply it globally. Let's open the kernel file. And inside the protected middleware array, let's register the middleware we just created. Neutral headers, colon, colon, class. All right, save the file and let's open up Postman and test those two APIs. Let's start with the user API first. Yeah, and as you can see, we have the cache control header with the values of no cache, no store, as we set in the middleware, and also the neutron star custom header with the value of wish. Now let's call the other uh, endpoint just to make sure that uh, our custom uh, middleware has been applied globally. And yeah, it works as expected. Now let's go back and apply this middleware only for this route, the company one. Let's go back to the code, delete our class from the protected middleware array. And if you scroll down, we have this route middleware array where we can register our middleware. Let's call it Neutron um, Headers. Neutron Headers, column, column, class. And this should work just fine. Now let's switch back to the route and add the middleware using the route group. Route group uh, with middleware. We give it the name of Neutron Headers. All right, and let's move this route inside our group. And now let's test it out. Call the API again. All right, so we still have our headers, but let's check if the user API have them as well. 
and nope the middleware is not applied on the user api endpoint as we expected all right awesome all right guys that was it i hope you enjoyed the video and stick around this channel because i will post more zero cost tutorials like this one you can also find me on social media where i also share web development and other geeky stuff i was carol and i'll see you in the next one